Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with River and Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is River's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction and the only correction that we give here at school is a tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. River's going to come home with the very same training collar he came with and we're going to be demonstrating for you how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now River is sitting very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is River Heal. At this point, River has a job to do and that is to stay even with your left leg while walking, not forging ahead, not dragging you. And each time that you stop walking, he's been taught to sit automatically like a gentleman and wait patiently for his next command. Very nice. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise it is a one word command. We do recommend that you practice this command indoors as well as outdoors. It helps to develop self-control and maturity. Work up from about 30 seconds to three minutes. When Fred returns back to his dog he walks all the way around him returning all the way back around to heel position, back where they started. And at that point, River expects to get another command and Fred tells him to heal. Proper healing is one of the most important things that I feel as though we do because so many people complain that they can't walk their dog properly because it pulls and it hurts their arm and so they don't go on walks anymore. So this is a very, a very good exercise to have. Fred leaves him in another sit-stay and turns to face him. And don't be afraid to lengthen out these stays. It helps him to know to pay attention for longer and longer periods as he matures mentally. This time Fred's going to call him. The command is river come and he should come right in front of you and sit. He should not come jump all over you. And then he goes back to heel and back sitting and they'll demonstrate that recall exercise again for us. He's a nice guy. He can be just a little out of control. You have to stay on top of him with his commands. Okay. Fred leaves him in another sit stay. Walks out to the end of the leash and turns to face him. And then he uses his name, lightens his tone of voice and calls him in. And he comes right in front and sits. And you see how focused he is on Fred as he's doing all of those things. Very well done. And it's all about, you know, keeping your demeanor, you know, don't get yourself amped up. Don't get frustrated if he makes a mistake because any time that happens, then the dog has beat you. So you want to make sure that you maintain your calm. Now this time Fred's going to demonstrate a down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, take your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay should be longer than your sit stay. So you're going to start out with about a minute to a minute and a half and you're going to work all the way up to five minutes. And again, this is boring, but practice it because you're going to soon be able to drop the leash and walk away. Now when Fred returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay, all the way back around to heel and at that point River gets another command. So each time you return to that heel position, the dog expects to get another command. Nice automatic sitch each time that Fred stops. Gives him the down command and the stay command. And you can see how focused he is. River really needed this mental stimulation. 
It's really good for him. Fred's gonna call him. And he sits. Then he turns and goes back to heel. And then back sitting. Very nice. Now the last exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. And this is a little bit harder exercise because you're not right next to the dog. So with River seated at your left, you leave him in a sit stay. You walk out to the end of your leash and you turn to face him. You use your right hand to give the command and you drop him into it down from a distance. And you can also make him stay and hold that. Now we have demonstrated for you all of River's formal on leash obedience commands. He's done a stellar job with them. I was really amazed at how well he has done. We will be talking to you soon, and thank you again for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.